everybody, Crystal Gamer here and welcome, welcome to my Sims channel. I just came across this cool update for our upcoming community stuff pack and I got pretty excited about it. So I thought it'd be fun to do a quick video and go through this together, especially since I didn't put out a Thursday video this week. So I know some of you have probably seen this already, but you know, maybe you want to stick around anyway. Either way, here we go. Behind the scenes of the community voted knitting stuff pack. So Sim Guru Connor is giving us a sneak peek at the upcoming stuff pack. And in the first welcoming section here, the main part about this, the, the important takeaway is the few items that he lists that we can knit. And they include a plushie, a plushie, a hat, and a mailbox. Now I can't help but be interested in how one can possibly knit a mailbox, but you know, it's the Sims, anything's possible possible. So I'm very interested to see what that is going to look like. And then of course we get some create a sim improvements, which I think a lot of us expected this, especially since we're obviously going to be able to knit clothes, which is pretty cool. We are going to have unlocked or, or the ability to unlock exclusive knitted clothing in CAS. So, and making it available for everyone in the household to wear. So obviously we're gonna have clothes for kids on all the way up. And one would kind of expect that because you sort of expect grandma to maybe knit stuff for the little kitties or something like that. So, so that's good. So they give them, they give us stuff for all of the different Sims. So he mentions that this UI or this unlocking ability might be a no brainer, but it, it was not readily available before. So that's obviously a change that they've had to make. And we get a locked view on some of the Sims clothing items. So I'm going to scroll down to the screenshot he gives us and we can see this, this gray outfit or this gray top right here. It's got a lock next to it. And then we can see these little locks next to this top here and on this image on the right it says knit this item to unlock it for your sim so yeah so we're gonna see stuff like that in CAS. and let's see does he say anything else no he just talks about the the ui mock-ups so oh and he mentions that we can knit socks here although normally at least with most of the clothes my sims wear we can't really see the socks but at least we can knit them that's that's kind of cool and then we get down to then this next part, which talks about rocking chairs, which they say just felt right for this pack. Honestly, if they didn't put rocking chairs in this pack, I, I think people would have revolted because you have to, you have to, it's a knitting pack. And this is one of the things that I think I really like about this pack. I kind of wish that they also gave us those, um, the swinging porch chairs, you know, the kind that, that like hang from, from the top of your porch. That'd be super cool. Cause I, I could totally imagine imagine grandma knitting something from the, the swinging porch chair, but you know, let's not, let's not focus on things we're not getting. We'll focus on what we're getting, which is the rocking chair. And they're basically trying to make everything that we can do while the Sim is sitting. They're trying to make it work while they're in rocking chairs. So that includes things like talking, watching TV, listening to music, reading books, and obviously knitting. And so then we go into this section about elders and this is kind of interesting. Elders are going to have this unique ability to reminisce so they can look back on their days of yore and recall something nice or maybe not so nice. And so of course he's got a lot, a couple of lines here talking about how there might be other secrets, but they can't let us know everything just yet. So they, they're trying to tease us and entice us, which is good, which is good. So it's nice that we're going to get a little extra interaction for elders. I think I don't play the game a whole ton. And when I do, I almost never, ever, ever play elders. As a matter of fact, I, I'm not even sure that I really ever played an elder, but I've heard complaints in the community about lack of things for elders to do, except kind of wait to die. I've actually seen people in the community talk about that. Like I play an elder and there's nothing they can do except wait to die. So this is nice. At least, at least there's an elder specific thing. I think that'll be really good for the game players. And the next section, this is my favorite section. All right. So this is the main thing that spurred this video because I'm super excited about this. So Plopsy, it's what a great name. God, I love this name. So what is Plopsy? Plopsy is, in my opinion, after reading this, to me, it's Etsy, right? It's, it's, it's being modeled after Ep Etsy. So for anyone unfamiliar, it's an online store where 
Etsy is like the biggest online store where people sell crafts and things that they make at home. And, and it's it's a lot of handmade stuff. And so they're giving us that in The Sims, which is super cool because I love stuff. When I do play the game, I love stuff that's not your standard nine to five career. Anything that my Sim can do that's outside of the normal nine to five is almost always what I have my Sim do. So this is a great way to make side money you can have your sim knit stuff put it up on the plopsy store it says here that it costs a small fee which i believe is the same thing etsy does in real life actually but so you put it up you hope that an internet stranger will buy it kind of like on ebay too similar thing like that and then you have to go and ship the object by going to the mailbox which is cool or you can ignore someone's offer and try for a better deal now it gets better though, because not only can knitted objects be listed on Plopsy, but so can things like paintings and woodworking sculptures too. So I'm super excited about that because we're actually going to have a store for like all our crafted items. And I, I think that that's excellent. Very, very cool. And then this next line is kind of key to me as well. Whichever item you choose to sell, you should hopefully make more of a profit with Plopsy than selling things the old fashioned way. So that's cool to me because it gives us incentive to use that online store. So I very, very much like this element. I love this. I think it's very cool. And we can also purchase things from Plopsy. So if your Sim doesn't know how to knit or doesn't know how to woodwork or whatever, we can purchase them from Plopsy. We don't have to actually go into the, the build buy mode and get it for them that way. We can make it like they're actually making a purchase. So I like that too. I think that that's a, a cool little ad as well. And they say listings update throughout the day. So you keep searching, keep checking back to see what the changes are. That reminds me a lot of the stores in the magic realm, which changes change out like their wands and the things that they offer the different products that they offer change every few sim hours so I'm sure that this will be a similar type thing so he says it's hot off the presses so there are no screenshots to share but we have a potential Plopsy logo which I think is really cute the little bunny looking thing so I this last part this Plopsy thing for me I, this is an unexpected thing and I love unexpected things and I think that this is a very cool ad it made the pack a whole lot more interesting to me personally because I wasn't one of the ones that voted for the the knitting pack actually I voted for um, either sculpting or glass blowing were, were my top two choices. So knitting was not in my top choice. So I'm happy, especially with the rocking chairs and the plopsy thing, it's made it, it's made the pack a lot more enticing to me. So I'd be interested to know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, do hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed and you like Sims content, definitely hit that subscribe button. And thank you all for spending the time with me today. I hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.